So uh, in cases of obstructions of uh, the gallbladder or obstructions of the bowel duct, we said that this is caused by what? Stones. Okay? And um, we said that examples of these stones could be stones from what? Cholesterol. It could be pigment stones. Or it could be stones from cholesterol and pigments. That's mixed stones. Okay? So we had our overview lecture and everything was cool. So we're going in now to actually talk about pigment stones. Okay? And uh, we'll discuss these pigment stones from, you see, cholesterol stones, pigment stones, mixed stones and everything. Okay? So we'll discuss these pigment stones from the types. I'll talk about the causes. I'll talk about the symptoms. Okay? So, uh, yeah, I'll talk about the treatments and complications and that will be all. All right. So, pigment stones are just like a type of what? Gallstones. Or you could say pigment gallstones. Okay? So, we said that pigment stones are a type of gallstones that form from bowel pigment. Primarily what? They form from bilirubin. It could be bilirubin mixed up with some stuff, right? But primarily it's bilirubin, okay? And they're usually dark, small, soft. Can you see them? Dark, small, and they are looking soft. Unlike this one that's looking hard, okay? So just from the look you see it. So talking about the types of pigment stones, you have the black pigment stones. Uh, these one are composed of bilirubin and other bowel pigments. And typically they are small and numerous, okay? And they are often associated with what, hemolytic disorders like skin cell disease and all the stuff, right? They're talking about the brown pigment stones. These one are composed of what, bilirubin and calcium salts, okay? They are typically larger than the black pigment stones, all right? They are often associated with bacterial infections and inflammation, all right? Yeah, this, these are the uh, pigment stones, all right? So uh, apart from the pigment stones, we have the cholesterol stones. Then I'm talking about the causes of pigment stones now. If there's increased bilirubin production, that's uh, from hemolytic disorders, all right? You have this problem. If you have bacterial infection or inflammation, but are they come? Are they come? If you have infections or inflammation in the bowel ducts, you have this problem. If you have stagnation of bowel flow, you have this problem. Then you have genetic predisposition. It could be that this problem is just common in your family and everybody have it, so it's like genetic linked, okay? Then if you have these pigment stones, uh, talking about the symptoms, it could be abdominal pain, like biliary colic, okay? Uh, it could result to jaundice, yellowing of the skin and eyes, dark urine and pale stools, nausea and vomiting and all that, alright? Then the treatment could be surgical removal of the gallbladder, that's cholecystectomy. They could do endoscopic retrograde or colon gill pancreatography to remove the bowel stones, okay? Then medication to also dissolve the stones, like what? Usodiol, alright? Then um, complications, if these stones are left there, if these stones are left there, it could also result in some adverse conditions. Now, examples of these adverse conditions, it could be inflammation of the gallbladder, that's cholecystitis. Uh, it could lead to stones in the bowel duct, that's what? Cholecystitis, alright? There could be cholangitis, that's inflammation of the bowel duct, okay? There could be what? Pancreatitis, that's inflammation of the pancreas. Okay, so that's it about pigment stones, uh, from the definition to the types that we have, causes, symptoms, and the possible treatment. Okay.